There will be a reaction to this. Pakistan, Pakistan will be blamed. Two nuclear armed countries will come face to face like we came in February. And before we head in that direction, the United Nations has a responsibility. This is why This is why the United Nations came into being in 1945. You were supposed to stop this happening. What is the world community going to do? Is it going to appease a market of 1.2 billion or is it going to stand up for justice and humanity? If, if this goes wrong, you hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. If a conventional war starts between the two countries, Mr. President, if a conventional war starts and it could, anything could happen, but supposing a country seven times smaller than its neighbor is faced with the choice Either you surrender or you fight for your freedom till death. What will we do? I ask myself this question. And my belief is, la, 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 there is no God but one. And we will fight. And when, and when, and when, and when a nuclear armed country fights to the end, it will have consequences far beyond the borders. It will have consequences for the world, which is why I repeat I'm here. Because I'm warning you, it's not a threat. It's a fair worry that where are we headed? And it is, I've come here to tell the UN, you've got to, this is a test for the United Nations. You are the one who guaranteed the people of Kashmir the right of self-determination. They are suffering because of that. And this is the time. This is the time not to appease like in 1939 appeasement took place. This is the time to take action. And number one action must be that India must lift this inhuman curfew, which has lasted for 55 days.